Hi everyone, it's Sean from Pulse Markets here today. Uh, today we're sitting down with Southern Cross Gold. As you know, we did the IPO um, early this year. Our investors did really, really well out of it, which was fantastic. Um, it delivered straight out of the gates, as the company said they would. Uh, with the current markets, there's obviously a lot of volatility at the moment, and Southern Cross hasn't been immune to that. Uh, they've just released some results, and the share price has been weak. But what we thought we'd do is get Mike Hudson, uh, the managing director of Southern Cross Gold, in with us today just to reassure us that everything's on track uh, with the drilling, uh, everything's fine with the company, which we think it is, and uh, is it a buy at these levels? So what we've got is some questions today just to uh, reassure everyone that everything is on track. Uh, so Mike, welcome and how are you going? Thanks, Sean. No, I'm, I'm, I'm great, thanks. And uh, you're in good hands and the project's better than it's ever been. Um, and uh, sometimes the market doesn't always get it right. So look forward to chatting with you. But as you know, when we listed Southern Cross, we've known each other for about a year and a half now. You said this was the play. You'd get to the board, you'd start drilling, and you, you thought you'd have these fantastic results, which I think we had one of the biggest hits that ever came out in Victoria, which this deposit had. And you've had out some more results, which you've, you've just released recently. And I noticed at the bottom of the announcement, there's seven more holes there to come. So it's, you certainly are, you've got the jury rigs turning, you've got an extra two crews, I think, on site now and that extra rig. So you're turning out these announcements. Can you just go through the recent one um, and just let us know what's happening there? So we put out an announcement a few days ago uh, from hole 40, so the 40th hole in the in the project. It was, it was drilled down the plane of the host sequence, but at a higher angle to the 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 high grade structures and so we wanted to just see how many high grade structures there were in that host position we tracked it down from zero uh, from surface to 430 meters we got something like 170 meters cumulative uh, gram meters and um, you know it was one of the top gold results in in australia um, over the last week um, I think we came in at number 10 in just terms of just one 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 part of that because they picked the best part out of it. It was six, 16 odd metres at, at 3.3 grams, I think, off the top of my head, uh, something like that. But that was one of uh, about four mineralised zones in that hole. So the, uh, the market uh, has just been <laughs> anticipating, I think, you know, what we put out uh, in, in terms of some of the hugely highly spectacular results, something like 119 metres at 3.9 was that highlight result. And anything less seems to, in, in, in this market, we get a bit of a slap around the ears. But, but these are all good results. They're all building on the project. The project's better than it was three months ago. We put out some stonking results pretty much every three to four weeks we've come out with uh you know plus 100 gram meter intersections as the at least the highlight of each one of those releases so so um you know that our job is to build a project here and and we're firmly in uh going ahead and doing that we've got cash in the bank we've got rig spinning and we're finding a lot of gold well, Mike, thank you for that. You've certainly got the Midas touch. I know you've found uh, over millions of ounces of gold in the past. You've got a million ounces in Canada with uh, Southern Cross sister company, Mawson. Uh, how many 100-gram hits have you got at Southern Cross in Victoria now? Uh, 16, uh, as of uh, a few days ago. So out of you know 40 holes, there's 1,600-gram metre hits, cumulative down each hole. Um, so it's... Uh, it's quite the strike rate. You know, you don't see that. What what I think um, has the attention of people who really understand what's going on here is that we're finding we're on a mineralized system that is not traditionally found in Victoria. So if you if you look at the widths of our intersections, they're way out left field in terms of what Victoria produces, which is typically thin and high grade and often nuggety systems. So they they they're hard to replicate. What we've got is a consistency, a finer grain gold, but we're seeing widths from 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 metres wide, as well as some very high-grade thinner zones within those broader zones. And, and we're also testing to depth. You know, we just found uh, in this hole um, also that I just was talking about an, a new 
part of the mineralized system and in, in the deepest parts of the the uh the the mineralized body to date now close to 400 meters down uh vertically uh we found a new shoot or a continuation of what we found 50 meters away down at those levels and there's only a few points down there where we've drilled but everywhere we drill we seem to be finding more gold so that's very encouraging and um and and the type of system we're finding is is not like what is found in Victoria and yeah we we just uh, we're just only limited by the amount of drill holes and that's why we're really going for it with uh two rigs three shifts and and uh really spitting out lots of holes you mentioned before seven holes are in the assay lab as we speak or being processed through the courtyard um, and two holes with two rigs operating are, are in progress so it, there's going to be continuous news flow and and extensions of the system okay that's fantastic uh you you said it's thin uh gold with it's powdery so you actually can't see the gold in the core samples is that correct you have to go to the lab uh you can see some gold sometimes as uh there's visible gold in this system uh but uh but it's a very and now we're going to get uh just technical for 10 seconds victoria made its fame and fortune and built out australia and and really the english empire on the back of victorian gold 80 million ounces on what the old timers mind back in the 1850s, 60s, 70s, and 80s uh, was was like raisins in a plum pudding, um, and uh, that was nuggety and easy for them to mine. But you can't put that into a modern day resource. And what what we've got here is a, a very similar to Fosterville, which is the highest grade gold mine on earth. It's 40 or 50 kilometres to the north of us uh, from Sunday Creek or Costa Field, which is one of the uh, higher grade gold mines on earth too, underground gold mines. I think it ranks um, ranked number seven last year. So these mines are different geologically, as is our project Sunday Creek and, and, and Rue and Redcastle, all our projects, geologically separate, very different to what made Victoria its fame and fortune. Um, and it's much more amenable. It's like the flour and the plum pudding, much more amenable to drilling and putting modern day resources and bankable feasibilities around projects. So that's that's uh, that's what we've got. And that's what you must chase if you're really going to give it a half decent shot in Victoria. So just talking about this Victorian system, so you're not like Bendigo, Ballarat, as we've said many times. You, you just put yourself next to Fosterville and Costafield. Uh, they're multi-billion dollar projects, aren't they? Yeah, you know, I mean, the gold, uh, Fosterville is one of the 10 largest mines on earth by production and, and the highest grade underground gold mine on earth today. Um, so, you know, I, I, I think what you're trying to hint at there is what's the game plan and, and 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 you know what are you worth today and what could you be worth is what everybody wants to know well the game plan here is to to take this discovery build resources so there'll be multiple resources as we go forward uh on on this project we want this to be a multi-million ounce system we want to demonstrate that it's going to become a lot bigger and then the play for juniors like us is to sell these projects you know and and often if you've got uh three or four million ounces on the table, a lot of these comparable transactions worldwide go uh, around the billion dollar or north of mark. And 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 that's that's the strategy and the game plan here to set ourselves up uh, to, to, to be bought at that level. Uh, if that doesn't happen, uh, we're still going to continue on and, and build this project. And, and, and you know, the, there's the paucity of these high-grade gold projects, not in Australia. This is a really unique system in Australia, but uh, but worldwide. So we know we're onto something very unique and uh, and uh, we'll maximise value at every point to, to get to that, uh, that, that sale at, at some point. Just having a quick look at my trading screen in the security info and You've got a market cap of forty three million, and you're talking north of a billion. So, uh, potentially a multi bagger there. If if you keep getting these results, and you, you keep getting these results, uh, you've said sixteen out of forty. Uh, those other twenty four odd holes, you've still hit gold on the majority of those, haven't you? Yeah, remembering a hundred gram meters is a is a pretty high bar, and I've said it before. You know, Newmont are the major gold company in the world, and they once informally mentioned it to me when we were looking at uh, a project that three for them internally uh, is a bona fide discovery. Um, so three hundred gram meter intersections or above. We've got sixteen. So and we've got sixteen. Yeah. So, so five times what they've said, and but the other holes, just to be clear to our investors, they're not losers. 
they're not losers at all. So I'm just trying to hit your strike rate out. We've we've done say 10% of the tenement along the strike at Sunday Creek. And what I think you're trying to do now is we've we've drilled that almost like Swiss cheese. And I think you've said the plan is to step out further down that strike to see if that gog continues. Is that the strategy at the moment? Well, uh, the Swiss cheese is only over, uh, I'd say, about 50 metres down to 400 metres where we've drilled out one of these chutes, the Apollo chute, uh, with much more uh, confidence and, and and we de-risk that to understand as much what each one of these shoots looks like. But uh, there's at least six shoots uh, between uh, over a 250 uh, metre strike that we haven't drilled any of those out in, in detail. So there's a lot more drilling and ounces to be found there. And then if you take it over that kilometre, you know, there's going to be a lot more and you'll see that step out starting to happen now. So we're starting to step out 500 metres, 700 metres from that one main Apollo shoot area. We've got one rig on the Apollo shoot and one rig starting to step out. And 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 here's a tip in my view. Uh, if you start to see some very good grades and widths on shoots that are hundred me- hundreds of metres away, that will give people the vision that we're really onto a system that is developing in multiple places. And, and my goodness, how good could this be? Because everybody's just sort of focused on, on this one little area. So, and then, and then you've mentioned it too, out of that one kilometre where we, where, where we're drilling and we'll be focusing for the majority of this year, we've got 10 kilometres left to explore of historic mines. And, you know, that, that will, that will lead to if it's, it works to to great expansion, and that's why this system can be very big uh, if we continue to hit the gold, of course. But uh, but the room there is to expand. We're not just looking at a little postage stamp area. So just to be clear, what we've done, or what the drill's doing at the moment, you've got one in that Cinderella zone where we've got Apollo, we've got all the shoots, we've got we've we have stepped five, six, seven hundred meters away from it at the moment. You've drilled that already, or you, are you about to drill that? Have a look in our last press release. You'll see big red dots on on a on a map, and you'll see where the holes are drilled and what we're expecting to come. And yes, we have drilled it, and those those form some of the seven holes that are either being in the courtyard or in the lab, um, waiting for results. So that's quite exciting. With what's happening right now, the lab, who I know has invested in Southern Cross, and to be clear, guys, the drillers uh, came in on the pre-IPO. They've still got every single share, not sold one. So they're obviously very confident in what's happening because there's been a lot of money on the table for them throughout this process. They've still got their shares and they've stepped out. So that that's quite exciting, actually. We're, we potentially could have some very big news around the corner. <laughs> they'll uh, they'll always be uh, swings and roundabouts when we drill, Sean. But uh, this this system has delivered. It's delivered in spades. And, you know, we've got the drill rigs turning. So, um, you yeah, know, hold, hold your breath. Well, Mike, uh, that's great. Thanks, mate. Uh, listen, you've just been in North America. You've met with a lot of institutions. That's one thing Southern Cross is good at doing is promoting and getting out there and showing investors uh, what you've got because that's obviously how a company becomes successful. Uh, with these North American investors that you've known for 20-odd years, can you just give us a feedback of do they know who you are? Are they receptive? Uh What's the theme over there at the moment? Yeah, Sean, I, I just come back a, a few days ago. I'm a little jet lagged still, but uh, I was at the the Beaver Creek Precious Metal Show, which is the preeminent event globally for for gold explorers and producers and 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 the people who fund those companies. and And I had over forty meetings. I was there. Uh, with Mawson Gold, uh, our largest shareholder, and 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 the company that spun out Southern Cross, and 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 for Southern Cross as well, uh, we've got some of the largest institutions in the space who have invested in Mawson, and and there and therefore have an indirect holding uh, in in Southern Cross, and and certainly our discovery here has been very well received. Uh, we've we're certainly on the map. Uh, people love the discovery, love the grade, love the liquidity, and uh, you know we I think uh, we'll get more and more investment from overseas as well uh, as the company matures and 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 the project matures. But certainly very much on on the map. Well, I've almost got half a million shares I've been accumulating over the most recent times, so uh, I'm very excited to watch what happens here. So uh, thanks for your time, Mike. I really appreciate you coming in. Thanks, Sean. Always a pleasure.